fifth species is the goal, the reason all the others exist. We will finally combine what we learned in second, third, and fourth species to write lines that begin to resemble real life musical situations. Now we can vary the rhythm so that, in addition to the shape of the line and the dissonances, it can also contribute to the musical character. We'll be moving between the rhythms of the previous species, half notes, quarter notes, and syncopated half notes, to create rhythmic variety. The goal is a fluid, smooth result. Of course, in real life, there are many dramatic musical situations where fluid and smooth are not what we would want. But these situations can't be worked out convincingly within such a short exercise. So for now, think of this as music that remains quiet, reflective, and calm. Later in the course, however, we will examine some more dramatic possibilities of counterpoint. The most important thing to remember about rhythm at fifth species is what Schoenberg calls the rule of the little notes, what I call the cockroach rule. There's never only one. Once we start introducing the quicker values, quarter notes for now, it's impossible to completely stop them without feeling that music has lost its momentum. Here's an example. The first thing which strikes us about the rhythm here is how bumpy it is. After three bars of non-stop quarter notes, they just disappear for good in measure four. Then the half notes are uninterrupted till the suspension at the end. Apart from the abrupt stop, there's also something rather disappointing about the overall loss of energy. Let's compare an improved version. Here the change from quarter notes to half notes is smoother and not done all at once. The overall line still slows down, but the melody's gradual rise to the high E and the little ornament at the end do maintain some tension. Now an even better version. By starting with the slower values, the gradual acceleration now complements the rising line, creating even more momentum towards the end. While it's not necessary for every fifth species exercise to speed up like this, be careful of bumpy rhythms and the sudden, complete absence of quick notes. You may have noticed two things we have not seen before in the two improved versions. A dotted note rhythm in measure 3 and measure 5, and the unusual resolution of the suspension in measure 8. The dotted half note rhythm allows the quarter notes that follow to begin on a weak beat instead of a strong beat. That helps keep the rhythm flowing. The suspension's resolution in measure 8, really just another dotted rhythm just going across the bar line, has the same goal, rhythmic fluidity. But it introduces an important principle which we will see extended in more advanced counterpoint, delayed resolution. The idea here is that resolving a dissonance can be delayed a bit without incoherence, provided there's no distraction before the resolution actually arrives. Let's look at this in detail, since it adds some important new resources to our toolkit. In A, we have a standard fourth species suspension. All the other examples are ornamented versions of the same thing. Let's look at them one by one. B simply repeats the suspended A before resolving as expected on the third beat. In terms of harmony and dissonance, nothing has changed. Only the rhythm is affected. C works the same way, except here the repeated note is the resolution. Both of these situations are common and pose no problem. D is a new situation. 
the new node intervenes before the resolution arrives. But since the B is consonant with the B in the cantus, it doesn't create a distraction. E is more interesting. Here the intervening F sharp is dissonant with E in the cantus, but it still works because both the suspended A and the F sharp resolve to the same note, G sharp. F poses a problem. Can you see why? The intervening C is dissonant with the cantus. However, the G-sharp does not resolve the high C, it's just left hanging. So it distracts from the suspension rather than enhancing it. In G, the intervening F is consonant with the cantus, but creates an augmented second when moving to the following G-sharp, which is awkward to sing. H might seem okay at first, but careful listening points out a problem. The E creates a fourth with the cantus, which really needs to resolve to D, rather than the G sharp, we, which we need to complete the suspension. Finally, I demonstrates a different kind of problem. Here the dissonance resolves to G sharp, as expected, but on the second beat, while the third beat moves on to another note. The problem here is rhythmic. Normal species counterpoint is in 2-2 time, which means that the second quarter note is an offbeat. If we really feel the beat like this, in 2, the resolution arrives between beats, creating a sort of mild syncopation. Most counterpoint texts therefore prohibit this. Here we'll allow it only if all the suspensions in a given exercise behave the same way. This means in effect, consider the music to be in 4-4 time, not 2-2. Two, two. If we feel the beat slower in 4, there's no sense of rhythmic conflict. Note that suspensions in fifth species are normally prepared by a half note. Again, a quarter note preparation would feel syncopated. As in third species, we'll avoid prominent repeated motives, and for the same reason, they create obligations which the student is not ready to deal with yet. Note that the dotted note rhythm and suspensions in general could be considered motives, but they're so common that they don't attract much attention. Now a little exercise. Here are two versions of a fifth species counterpoint. You can download a PDF with them from the link below. Listen to the first one carefully. Can you identify the problems? And now a corrected version. Try to understand the reason for every change. When working out a fifth species exercise, remember, first, Survey the possibilities for suspensions, taking note of the richest ones. Before starting to write the line, plan its overall shape and take into account the ranges of the voices involved. Keep the rhythm flowing. Avoid bumps. Don't change species too often on the first beat of the bar. Maintain at least some rhythmic momentum until the end. Use ornamental resolutions to prevent the suspensions from slamming on the brakes. Sing and play.